Hi, my name is Heijin In, and I'm a GI surgical oncologist at Rutgers Cancer Institute. I'm here with Drs. Jeffrey Matthews, Matthew Walsh, and Antonio Picon to talk about the Jeffrey and Joan Matthews Developing Leaders Program. So starting off with Dr. Matthews, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you came up with the idea for this? Well, I'm the uh, chair of surgery at the University of Chicago, uh, and I uh, have uh, always been interested uh, in my own leadership journey of creating uh, an environment where um, all can feel included, where uh, where our whole team can bring their authentic selves to work uh, to provide the best in care uh, for a very diverse uh, population. And I saw and have seen over the decades the 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 lack of opportunities uh, for uh, career development for uh, individuals who come from uh, historically excluded. Uh, backgrounds to sort of develop their skills and de develop their leadership. So this seemed like an opportunity, particularly in GI surgery, to be able to train uh, a more uh, diverse next generation of leaders, thinking about it not as a as a pipeline problem, but as a pathway problem where we needed to create leadership pathways for the skill acquisition, but also network formation. This is something that came together with conversations with Dr. Matt Walsh as well, as uh, as we uh, thought about how we uh, made the SSAT and the field more broadly uh, inclusive. So then Dr. Walsh, you were, you were instrumental in setting up this award. Can you tell us a little bit about the journey in, in yourself and Dr. Matthews setting up this award and you know, tell us some of the challenges you faced and how you overcame them. Oh, there are never challenges. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm chair of general surgery at the Cleveland Clinic and have known Jeff and Joan for a while. And I think the SSAT is blessed with their their contributions that uh, they have both made to our society. And I, like Jeff, have felt privileged to be able to be a GI surgeon. I can't think of a more satisfying career. And I would like it to be as inclusive, both for people going into the field and for our patients, really. And we try to meet that need um, about development and tried to brainstorm between the two of us and it's great to have a great partner in Jeff and Joan both on um, what that could look like. And we, I think we included some novel aspects to it over a two-year course that includes also training, but also um, where I see there can be a, a deficiency, and I think Jeff may be similar, is not having buy-in from your chair about where you are in your career and what the expectations are so that you use this training and we also thought it would be great to be able to travel as part of this and get to know as many people in the SSAT as possible, since we have great leaders in GI surgery, and also give back to the next generation and host student groups and so that people of a diverse background can sort of explain how, they, how their story is unique and to inspire others. Wonderful. And uh, Dr. Pecan, congratulations on being the inaugural recipient of the Matthews Developing Leaders Program. So can you tell us a bit about your experience and how winning the award has impacted your career development journey? First of all, thank you to Dr. Matthews for the award and thank you to the society for giving me the award. I think um, it's very, very important for me to have something that will boost my career in GI surgery. Uh, I came to my country many years, I came, from, I came from my country many years ago to the United States, and uh, I struggled to get a residency position in the United States, and I struggled through the years. I went back to my country, came back, and finally finished my training in the United States. I understand that it's very difficult for underrepresented minorities, especially Hispanics, to get positions in, in leadership positions in the United States. Uh, and I saw, when I saw the requirements of the award, I said, this is the opportunity that I have uh, from the society to boost my career, to network, to meet people, to be more visible, not only at the society, but at my institution. So I applied. I had this imposter syndrome. I said, I'm not gonna get the award, but I apply and I, I got the award. So I'm very happy. 
Yeah. Dr. Pecan, so can you speak, speak to any specific ways in which this award has helped you in your career development? Part of the award is to meet with the chairman uh, on, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis. And I have met with my chairman a few times discussing different topics about the department, how deals, how he deals with problems in the department. He assigned me to different committees in the department, including the peer review committee, DII committee, ID committee. Uh, he assigned me to be the clerkship director for the Columbia University Medical Students last month uh, to part of a, a promotion. I'm the associate program director for the general surgery program. And uh, my plan in the future is try to become a program director either here or in another institution. Second, part of the award is to present grand rounds, and I'm going to be presenting grand rounds at the Cleveland Clinic in Florida in April. Uh, I'm going to be presenting gastric cancer, and Dr. Wexner accepted uh, the, the, the proposal to present grand rounds in that institution. And um, uh, part of the award is to try to to boost my career and to grow and network uh, with the members of the society and be more visible in my institution. So I encourage uh, all the members of the society that they should apply for the award, will boost their careers, will benefit from the award, and somehow will uh, make them better leaders in, in the surgical field. Thank you again to Dr. Matthews, Dr. Walsh, and Dr. Pecan on sharing your insight and your experience with this great award. So um, in closing, I hope that everybody will consider the Jeffrey and Joan Matthews Developing Leaders Program. This is a two-year award that is really created to help diverse faculty who are in their mid-career to develop themselves into leaders. Um, don't just think about um, diversity as race, ethnicity, but think about it much more broadly. There's a lot of intersectionality. There's a lot of um, situations where diversity is in many different forms. Um, so think about it broadly and please apply. We are, um, this is such a great program that will really enhance your career. So thank you. And I really encourage you to apply. <laughs>